Welcome to Proc and Load Utilizing IS Boxer, part of my how to series on IS Boxer. Three spells in one talent form the core of an Arcane Mage's DPS Arcane Barrage, Arcane Missiles, Arcane Blast, and Missile Barrage. The focus of this video is the Missile Barrage talent and utilizing the buff most effectively when it procs. My DPS rotation is very simple. I cast Arcane Blast four times, I follow that with an Arcane Barrage. If Missile Barrage never procs, this is all I'd ever cast. Arcane Blast does direct damage to the target and applies a debuff to the player increasing their damage and mana cost of additional Arcane Blast spells. This debuff stacks up to four, at which time you need to do another form of Arcane Damage to clear the debuff. Arcane Barrage is an instant cast Arcane spell that is commonly used to remove the Arcane Blast debuff if Missile Barrage hasn't procced yet. Arcane Missiles should only be cast when you have the Missile Barrage buff. When you have either no Arcane Blast buffs or at least three Arcane Blast buffs. I'll leave the theory craft out of this, but that's the generally accepted rule as I understand it. To bring all this together, I've utilized Power Aura's Classic to display on any character what state the mages are in. If a mage has a Missile Barrage buff, the words Bizan Nuke or Cizan Nuke appear. And if they have no Arcane Blast debuffs, I know that I can nuke. Arcane Blast debuffs are indicated by the yellow pips around the words, or green. The yellow indicates there's one to two stacks and I shouldn't cast Arcane Missiles. The green indicates that there are three or four debuffs around and I can go ahead and cast. This leaves us with the question of how do we cast Arcane Missiles and reset the cast sequence macro efficiently. After many failed attempts I found that keeping it simple was the best choice. I bound a key for each mage to a macro to stop my casting, if I'm not channeling, and cast arcane missiles. This allows me to tap that key a few times and ensure that the debuffs get used most efficiently. That's really all there is to it. I saw an immediate increase in both DPS and mana efficiency by utilizing this technique, and I hope that you enjoyed the guide.